Okay, for this project I'm using a size I-9. It's a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And then I'm just using regular 4-ply yarn. And I'm using a mix of different brands. Just some scraps that I had, so it doesn't really matter what kind you use. And then you're going to need three granny squares. Oops. And I'm not going to show you how to do these because I already have a tutorial for this granny square. It's just a basic granny square. And I'll put a link for that tutorial below in my description box. But you don't even have to do this kind of granny square. You can do whatever granny square you want. If you find want one with a flower on it or whatever. Whatever one you want to do. And any colors that you want. But it's going to need to be about 5 or 6 inches big. You don't want a really tiny one. You want kind of a bigger one. But you're going to need three of them. And then you're going to need this back. This is going to be the back of it. And these are going to sew on here like that. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, for the back, I used two strands of yarn together. That way it's a little bit heavier and stiffer. I thought it would uh, hold up a little better that way. But if you just wanted to use one, that's fine. And what you want to do is you want to make a chain for the length of your granny square, whatever granny square you decide to use. So you just, once you get your granny done, you just kind of measure and get it to about the same length. Maybe where it hangs over to about one extra stitch on each side. Or something close like that. And then once you get it that length, you want to make an extra chain three. And then you want to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Like that. So that extra chain three you made is actually right here at the end, acting as a double crochet. So I'm just doing one double crochet in each stitch all the way across the length of my chain. Like this. And you want to do that all the way to the end. And I'll just show you real quick. Once you get to the end, I'll show you right here, but you want to make sure you go to the end. When you get to the end, you just do a chain three and turn. And then you want to double crochet into this stitch. And then all the way across again. So all it is is just rows of double crochet. Just one in each stitch. All the way to the length of your chain. I just did it shorter just to show you. And you want to make sure at the end that you go into your chain three on each side like that. Otherwise it'll be come out crooked. And then you just want to chain three again and turn. And then you go into this one and do the same thing. Double crochet all the way across. So it's really simple. So you just do that. And you want to do that for as many rows as it takes you to to where you can lay it out and line these up like this. I just did it where I left one full row at the bottom. And then a little bit in between. I just uh, made it the length to where when I sew it up, I'll have one full row at the bottom. And then I'll have one full row at the top left. And I did... I did 26 rows. But if your granny squares aren't the same size as mine, you might have to do more or less. But just something around like that. And now I'll show you how I'm going to sew them on with, uh, I'm going to sew mine on with a yarn needle. And 
and a piece of yarn. And when I got done with these, my granny square, I just went around it with a row of single crochet, the same color that I did my backing. That way when I sew it on, you're not going to be able to see the stitches. I would probably suggest that. Otherwise, you'll probably be able to see the stitches. And if you don't mind, if you want that look, that's fine. But if not, I do it in the same color. Okay, I'm going to start at the bottom. Once you get all your granny squares made. And, and you want to use your rows of double crochets as lines. So, I'm leaving one full row open at the bottom. And lining it up with a little bit extra on the sides like that. That's why I said earlier to leave like go like one double crochet more or one ch chain more on each side so you have a little bit left. And then I'm just going to start from the back and go through the stitch. back just going back up going from the bottom up through one stitch Carrying it over and going down to that stitch. Really easy. Just make sure you try to keep it on your line. Just to guide you. Make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to use my line of double crochets as a guide and I'm going to go up this side. And then I'm going to go down this side and I'm going to leave the top open like a pocket. And then I'm just going to decide how much I want in between my next one. Probably about like that. About a half inch or so. And sew it down here same way and here and then I'll do the next one the same so I'm gonna go ahead and sew these all on it's super easy and then I'm gonna make some little straps here for a hanger okay I got my pocket sewed on and I just left a little bit barely in between each one but you can do it however you want now I'm going to actually I'm going to go around the whole thing with the row of single crochet to straighten it up a little bit and I'm going to use two strings of yarn at once and I'm just going to start, you can start wherever you want and 
I'm just going to go around and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch. So I just started with the slip knot there. And I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go to my next stitch. Single crochet. Just to straighten up the edges. So, just like that. And then you get over here to the corner. I'm going to put two in a corner. Two in each corner. And then when you're working down this edge of these double crochets, you're not going to be able to see the stitches that well. But just know you need to put two single crochets in each double crochet. So just try to um oh try to like space them out evenly if you can. As best as you can. It's really hard to tell on the double crochets where to put them. There I think it makes it look a lot straighter now using the Going across it with these single crochets. Makes it look cleaner. So I'm just evenly spacing these single crochets along this edge. So you just want to do that um, all the way around back to your starting point. Okay, I went around it with my row of single crochet, and I think it looks a lot better now. It's really straighten up the edges. Okay, now I'm going to be do, doing um, two straps here and then two straps at the bottom so I can make it where it hangs. So I'm going to use two strings of yarn again at the same time. And I'm only kind of a long tail to sew it in later. I'm going to start with the slip knot. Okay, and I want to make sure the same distance is in between each strap. So I'm going to count in three stitches from each side. Three, and that's where I'm going to start my, my strap. So one, two, three. I'm going to start it in the third one over. I'm going to go into it and go through the slip knot on my hook. Pull my tail tight. Okay, and then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to use four stitches. So I'm going to go into the very same one I just went into and do a single crochet. And I'm going to come over to the next stitch, single crochet, the next one, single crochet, and then one more. So that was four single crochets. So now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And then I want to do four more single four single croquet, crochets across. So I'm gonna go right back into this one. One, two, three, four. Chain one and turn. And then again. One, two, three, four, chain one, and turn. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to the length I want it. It's just rows of single crochet. Chain one and turn. Turn. 
And I'm gonna be I want it to I'm gonna fold it over. That's what I'm gonna do with it. I'll let you know in just a second how many rows I'm going to do for each one. Just going to test it here. Okay. I'm going to do 10 rows for each one. And if you want yours to be different, uh, you can do as many rows as you want, but I'm going to do 10. That, and I'm going to put my yarn, pull it through, like that. And then I'm going to take this yarn at the end here, and put it on my yarn needle. Both strands. is going to fold over here like that and I'm going to make this loop so I can stick something through it here. So I'm just going to fold it over and just do a few stitches through it. Like this. to hold it together. And then when you feel like it's tight enough, go ahead and hide your tail. Do one more through here. Hook your yarn. And then I can hang it from that. So I want to do another one over here. And you want to make sure you did it the same. I'm going to do it on my third stitch in. And then when I get done with that, I'm going to do two more on the bottom. And I'm going to do it the same on the third stitch in. So start here and here. And I'm just going to be row, rows of 10 rows of four single crochet each. And then I'm going to fold them over and them. But before I fold, actually before I fold them over the other ones and sew them, I'm going to sew um, buttons on. And you don't have to do that, that's just what I'm going to do. So once I get all my straps made, I'm just going to sew a button on each one, just like that. And then I'll fold them over. I should have done that first, but I'll be able to get it. And then I'm just going to fold them over and sew them and make the loop so I can hang it from these. Okay, I got my loop sewed and my buttons sewed on them. And I went out and I have a an old willow tree in my yard. It's a crooked willow and it makes these crooked branches. I'm going to use these, but you can use anything that you want. Let's see. If you want to use um, a dowel rod or um, a large knitting needle or something would be pretty. Stick a needle through the end. Whatever you want to use. Or you can just use the string if you want. But just go ahead and whatever you're going to use, put it through the ends down here. Like that. And then... You can hang it like that if you want. You can stick stuff in it. Needles and whatnot like this. It can be your little organizer. Whatever you want to put in it. Um, if you want, you can tie a string up here to, to hang it from. I'm probably just going to hang mine from the from the stick. I use the stick because it kind of match goes with my kitchen a little bit better. But Plus I love the crooked willow tree sticks. They're really cool. 
and that's it that's all there is to this and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial I hope you could make sense of it um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all my other tutorials I have a whole bunch of bags and purses and check out my Facebook page too you can post whatever all your crochet projects on there if you want I'd like to see them all and until next time have a good day